Hello everyone, Foul Play here, back for round three of this modern league. We're on a little bit of a roll. Um, we are two and zero at the moment. We are up against Kado. Uh, triple two, losing the die roll. Uh, so they're going to be on the play. We've got a leyline hand with dried arbor, no totem armor, no core spirit down. So I'm going to throw this one. I think we can do better. This hand looks better. Uh, I'll bottom planes and. Uh, Keep this bottom planes. Oh, verdant catacombs into nothing. Oh, okay. Happy with the nothing. Uh, so we'll play at a glade cover scout past the turn. Back to my opponent. Blood crypt and are they shocking? They are not. Okay. So it could be Jun with just a turn two Renin six here. Very possible. Nothing. All right. So here I'm playing around uh, turn three Liliana. So I think what I want to do is play out my Horizon Canopy. Uh, I'm going to play my Ethereal Armor so it doesn't get potentially discarded next turn. If my Griff's Burn gets discarded, I can return it. And then I'm going to second main a Boggle. Um, I'm going to hold up this Windswept Teeth for another opportunity, maybe next time. Alright, so we do connect with two damage. I uh, play the Boggle, pass the turn. Nice assurance against Liliana here. Um, actually, maybe... Maybe it's better to just do the fetch line, really. Um, are they just black red? Right, so they don't have access to any green mana, and there's literally no reason why we shouldn't cast Daybreak Coronet here. So let's just go in. And we've got a two-turn clock whether or not we attack with that Bogle. So we'll just leave it back in case we need to chump block something. I imagine we've just won this one. This looks like um, the black-red Lurus deck. Although they haven't played any of the normal stuff. Um, thing against this deck, uh, Rest in Peace is surprisingly necessary. I might uh, leave two Core Spirit Dancers in, bring in two Rest in Peace, because I haven't actually confirmed what deck it is yet. And then I might also minus two Griff Spoon uh, for two Path to Exile, and just cover my bases there. I want to leave in my Toughness Auras and my Totem Armor for things like Bontu's Damnation, Anger of the God, God's... Um, and Plague Engineer, so there's lots of reasons to take out Grispin there over the other auras. See if we can get a Leyline hand going this game. Um, and yeah, Leyline hand with Boogle is always a good start for our deck. Alright, well, uh. Oof. I wish I knew that there was land on top. I'd probably keep that. So we mulliganed and... I think we want a hexproof creature. Alright, we'll keep this one. So in these situations... Uh, I'm going to ditch the rest in peace. We're down to five. I need to throw two cards. Ditch rest in peace. And I'm probably going to ditch one of my lands here. So I'm going to throw the horizon canopy. Um, keep my two auras. I've got two draw steps to see my second mana source. And I've got leyline protection from their thought seas. So that's really good. All right, we draw our second mana source anyway, so I'm happy about all of that. We we'll just fetch shock here. We cycle, we uh, we shuffle one aura and one rest in peace, so um, not too bad really. And then we get totem armor protection from anger of the gods as well before their turn three anger. So that's really really good. Mm. 
Basic Swamp. Oh my goodness, is he going to Blood Moon me? Thirst of Possibilities. Discard a card, draw two cards. Alright, looks like a Gristle Shell here. Um, <laughs> they got the Goryos, Vengeance. Um, they can't shoot us in the face for damage. So they're going to look to instant speed Goyo's Vengeance. So we don't want to attack. We'll just cast Ethereal Armor and pass. Um, so, yeah. I don't want to attack and lose my creature here. If we draw Daybreak Coronet, we have a 7 7 lifelinker here anyway. So there's the Goyo's Vengeance. Um,. Gristlebrand is back, and then exile at the beginning of the next end step. So they do that in our end step, um, so they have an entire turn to attack with it, draw cards, gain life, all of that. Uh, I'm not too concerned here, because they haven't done anything else meaningful other than just get Gristlebrand out. They can't, like, Borborygmos us. I don't know how this deck wins outside of Gristlebrand just attacking. I think they can entome and bring it back from the graveyard to the battlefield. Definitely looking for probably the full playset of Path to Exile and Rest in Peace next game. Wait a minute. Did I draw a land and not cast it? Not play my land. I think I did. What am I thinking? Oh my god, I must be tired. Sorry about that. Uh, that's actually a pretty significant percentage uh, that I've just uh, caused myself to lose here. So opponent's 18 cards in hand. They're going to discard a whole bunch of stuff. Um, this is going to get exiled to the Goyo's Vengeance. Um, and yeah. They're probably playing the boar that Returns a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. And they've done nothing. So, haggle into another Goyo's Vengeance, I guess, is something we have to be concerned about. Um, and they've got to discard a bunch of cards here. Um... Which seems fine with me. 11 cards going to the grave. Pentad Prism, Duress, Knight's Whisper, Collective Brutality, Gristlebrand. Okay. Alright, so I'll play the Horizon Canopy because I need the green mana to play both of my auras out. Um... And then we can attack for a decent chunk of damage, 8 damage. Uh, if our opponent gristle brands to block, we have first strike to kill it. Um, or very likely what's going to happen is uh, they're just going to not chump block, end step a gristle brand, attack and gain 7, and then maybe look to chump block next turn. Um, so yeah, we're, we're only attacking for 1 more damage than life they can gain. A lot of collective pr brutality is like that only hits instants and sorceries out of the hand. I guess it hits my path to exile, but uh, doesn't seem all that good to me. Guess the deck with Gristlebrand, like suppression fields, always very nice as well because they have to pay two mana for that activated ability. Uh, all right, so they're blocking. Uh, I'm fine with that. So they're drawing seven cards in response to that. Um, Gristlebrand's going to go to the graveyard, and they're going to take one damage. They don't gain any life from that. So, they can't gain any life by attacking me next turn. That seems a little bit peculiar to me, as opposed to just, um... End stepping one in, attacking, gaining seven life. Maybe they've got their reason, um, and I just don't know their deck well enough, but it seems a little bit odd. Man, that rest of piece would have been uh, really good. Shut their deck right down. Um, we can still obviously draw to it here. It doesn't look like they're running the board that cheats it out. 
Because there's like a boar that cheats out both Gristlebrand and Emrakul when it attacks, and they s usually Simeon Spirit Guard it out um, a turn early. Through the breach. Alright, what do you got, opponent? It's just a Gristlebrand, it's not an Emrakul, I'm happy. <laughs> so they can attack us, put us to 2. They go to 10, any aura we draw kills them. And we get two takes at a one mana aura. Uh, I'm happy with that. That seems reasonable to me. Imagine surgical extraction. Bam, take your gristle brands. Alright, so... It's the same if I do or don't crack this fetch line. So I might as well crack it for a basic. Thin the deck ever so slightly. Cycle this Horizon Canopy looking for an aura. And that's not an aura. That's very upsetting. Uh, so we'll attack. Put our opponent to two. And then uh, see what they've got from there. There's the Anger of the Gods. We did call that earlier. Opponent's on two. They're going to need a pretty good turn. But I guess they can just throw the Breach another Gristle Brand out. And then kill us. Um, maybe we leave up blockers instead then. Yeah, I think I misplayed. I think I'm supposed to block here, because he can't kill us, uh, apart from through the breach. So I think I punted this game. Thirst of possibility? Okay, that's fine. This is an instant as well, so they can through the breach during our turn. Looks like they just fizzled. I mean, that's one of the issues with this deck, is it does fizzle. Um, although, you know, could be speaking way too soon. They might just be gearing up to kill us here with uh, one life left each. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be so upsetting if I lose this game by one point of damage, considering I had that Horizon Canopy in hand and should have dealt two extra damage to my opponent. Um... I don't know if I actually would have dealt any extra damage. Our opponent concedes. Sweet. So we get the win there. Um, I think with that matchup, I'm just going to jump over and just work out a quick sideboard for it. So obviously, Rest in Peace is very good there, and Path is also very good there. So we're going to want all of those cards. Uh, they do have Discard, so we're going to want Leyline as well. I don't think we're going to be afforded the luxury of Core Spirit Dancer. That just seems like one too many things um and then probably our weakest aura is griff spoon and we can look to go down maybe two griff spoon um so maybe from there i'm just either looking to remove the third griff spoon i don't think i want to take out any of my totem armor effects particularly on the draw um So maybe four path is too much and I just go three or maybe I go three rest in peace because it's more expensive and then four path. Um, I think, yeah, something like that. One less rest in peace. Of course, spirit dancer, grist spoon out. Path, rest in peace in. Um, I think that's going to give you reasonably consistent results, particularly on the draw. Um... On the play, Core Spirit Dancer is probably better, but it's also going to be very difficult to race them. Um, rest in Peace is probably better, so you probably want the full re four Rest in Peace, full four Path to Exile, and then just remove that last Griff Spoon. Remove four Core Spirit Dancers, four Griff Spoon, maybe one Sentinel's Eyes, maybe one Spider Umbra or one Hyena Umbra. It's hard to say. Um... So I am rambling here a little bit, so I'm going to finish that video there guys. Thank you all for watching uh, right up until the end here. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below uh, and let me know what you enjoyed. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for Daily's Bogles content and thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.